Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, and it's an A day. My name is Bella. My name is Hope. Oh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. You may be seated. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Bailey B, Austin H, and Aiden D. The weather today is 65 degrees and sunny. Today's lunch, buffalo chicken pizza, cheesesteak sub, chicken patty sandwich, regular spicy, ham and cheese salad with soft pretzel, cheese lasagna with dinner roll, seasoned potato wedges, yummy baby carrots, delicious corn and peaches. Here is the seventh grade coach class schedule. If you would like to see t these teachers get pied, give donations to Ms. Perry in room 217 this week. Here's today's schedule. <laughs> the book fair is open during lunch today. Ms. Shepard and Ms. Bagel's classes are visiting today. Ms. Thurston and Ms. Swike and Ms. White Lovers' classes are visiting tomorrow. Eighth grade, you will be sitting in homerooms at lunch and you are to sit on the larger side of the cafeteria only. Signs will be placed on the table. Seventh grade, you are to sit on the smaller side of the cafeteria only. And now a message from Ms. Shadwick. Good morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. Tomorrow's a big day. Let's make Sparrows Point go green. I want all of you in your green to support children's mental health. Today's coping skill is seeking out positive friends. Take the time to think about which one of your friends helps you be the best person you can be. If you're upset, who is that friend that you can count on to help you feel better and help you stay out of trouble? Take the time today to think about which of your friends play a positive role in your life. Remember, your mental health matters, all grade levels. And staff, please wear your green tomorrow. STEM club is canceled today. SAD club will, meet, will be meeting during lunch this Thursday. A lunch room 200, B lunch room 219. Hey kids, Math Homework Helpers is back live for one more show. This last show of the school year, Wednesday, 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. on BCPS TV, Comcast Channel 73 or Verizon Channel 34. Join the fun and give us a call if you need help with your math homework. We are here to help you. We have fantastic teachers and a crazy puppet ready to help you every caller. Help you every caller will win a prize and have the opportunity to spin the prize bill for a bonus prize. The phone number to call is 410-494-1459. That's 410-494-1459. This is the only number that will get you to, through to the show. Now a message from Ms. Washington. Good morning, Sparrows Point, and welcome to this wonderful Wednesday. It is sunny outside, and it's also sunny inside. Uh, I'm hoping it's bright and sunny every day inside here at Sparrows Point Middle School, but I'm hoping especially that all of our students are focused and ready to learn. We are still park testing eighth graders uh, today is the last day I believe for you and then our seventh graders you will take the baton and you will begin testing on the fourth uh, again we are testing pretty much from now up until forever so I just want to make sure that everyone understands um, that it's very important so even makeup testing uh, that also happens and will need to happen so students the best way to prevent having a layover with testing is to make sure that you are here the day that you are scheduled to test. Again, please make sure students that you are here because again, it makes it easier if you test with all of your peers at the same time instead of trying to come back and then um, scheduling a makeup test session. So students, please do your part. Emails have gone out to your parents uh, and phone calls to remind them about park testing. 
We have 28 days remaining in the school year. We have 28 days remaining. Students and staff, but especially my students right now, I need you to finish this year strong. I'm sure many of you know I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about things that I've already sent home in regards to incidences that have occurred this week. Students, I do need you to make smart choices. I do need you to make smart choices, smart decisions, uh, because things happen, and we as the adults in the building, we find out about all of the things happening. We may not I find out about it the day that it took place, but we do find out about it. Uh, again, social media is out there, and so I've received several tweets and uh, text messages, screenshots of various things happening out in the community. So students, please be mindful that we are always watching. We are always aware of the things that are happening out in the community. And again, my primary goal is your safety. So again, students, if you're aware of something happening, I am asking you to do the right thing. Please, we, we don't need any more followers. We need more leaders. So students, please make the right decisions. Please let adults know when things are happening so that we can assist. So that's all I want to say about that. Um, I don't want to spend any more time talking about that. But students, you're very smart, so I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. And again, I need you to make better choices. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's fantastic. Keep doing the great things that you're doing by letting the adults know when things are happening in the building. Again, we have 28 days, so I'm encouraging everyone to finish strong. Teacher Appreciation or Staff Appreciation Week will kick off next week. I know I started that this Monday. Uh, there was a typo in the BCPS calendar uh, that was printed out. Um, it was supposed to, in the calendar, it stated that Appreciation Week was this week. Um, but again, Appreciation Week will be next week. And I know uh, Chipotle and uh, Jimmy John's, all of those places had wonderful sales. I think Jimmy John's yesterday had subs for $1. Um, but again, I'm, please know that also next week we will be doing things for all of our staff because we appreciate everyone. But students, I am asking you to think about how you will show your appreciation and your gratitude for all of the staff in this building. Um, we have staff members who go above and beyond the call of duty. Um, they don't do it for any accolades or for Friday focus pats. They don't do it for that. So students, please take time to think about how you will recognize uh, those staff members here in our building because we have phenomenal phenomenal staff. Uh, they're doing great things every day. Uh, so students begin thinking about how you will show your appreciation for the staff here in the building. Dress code, I know it's getting warm. Uh, I know that when that happens, sometimes our behavior and also our fashion sense warms up as well. Again, students, your teachers are the fashion experts and police. If they tell you it is too short, it is too short. Uh, so please make sure students it's important with 28 days left of school we don't need to engage in any type of physical confrontations or not physical but verbal confrontations with the staff if they tell you it's too short it's it's too short so please make sure you take care of those things also could i see one of, can i see that for a second um wanted to quickly go over this little gadget um i'm not really sure who came up with this but i'm sure they are making tons of money um, students, this becomes a distract. I'm hoping you can see this, but you all know what this is, a fidget or whatever it's called, fidget spinner. Uh, please make sure because many of you are using those in class now and it's becoming a distraction. If your teachers ask you to put those items away, please put them away. Again, it's amazing. I wish I could come up with and think of some of these things and kind of put a patent on it and become a wealthy lady. But again, those some of the items, they become a distraction. So if your teachers ask you to put it up, please put it up. Along those lines, cell phones. Students, please make sure that you take time to put your cell phones up. They should be off and out of sight. Teachers, please allow students a couple of seconds to make sure that they are in compliance and ready to start their day. I believe that's all I have. Ms. Chadwick gave the word about wearing green tomorrow, so please rock your green tomorrow to show your support for uh, Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. Again, please show out in your school spirit rocking your green. Again, thank you for all that you do. Students, please continue to make today a great day. Uh, the choice is totally up to you. Either way, I'm going to love you regardless. Would like for everyone to have a fabulous Fabulous day. Now back to our phenomenal news crew. Thank you. And now for the word of the week. We've learned that the word of the week begins with the letter A, means a published collection of poems or other pieces of writing. Today's clue. This word contains the suffix ology. 
Figure out the word and then find Principal Washington or Miss Bonnie during the change of classes. Use the word in a sentence that shows you know the meaning and get a prize. And the quote of the day, life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. George Bernard Shaw. Now for a book fair video. It's a new craze at Sam Houston High School. It's an app called Worthy. How does it work? Simple. You're given a picture of a couple, and you decide if the girl is worthy of the boy or not. People leave comments, and after a few days the votes are tallied. It's mean, but a little fascinating too. Then I met Alex. He's more popular than I'll ever be. He's cute, athletic, smart, and a good guy. I can't believe we're dating. And I know it's just a matter of time before our photo appears on the app. And I wonder, am I worthy? Look for Worthy at your Scholastic Book Fair. And I'm no, I mean, I'm Hope. Remember that Friday all the heat.